Hello and welcome to this video, ST of 85.91. So, <clears throat> what do we get? Nimzo, yeah, let's see. Get the Hübner variation. It seems I get it. That's one of my my real pet lines. <clears throat> Always feel like personally offended if I lose it, <laughs> if I lose a game with it, but uh, it does happen, of course. So, e4 or one of the slower moves. White <clears throat> tends to play waiting moves here. Yeah? Queen c2, rook b1, knight d2. Knight d2 is the main move if white is not going for e4. Aha, uh -huh. seems he's trying to find my book on the Nimzo somewhere sitting on his shelf. Almost here, the page is turning. Eh, probably not. <laughs> hmm. Yeah, well, what can I say? Black normally goes e5 now after about every move that white plays. Yeah, like here. Yeah, this is also a line. Okay, interesting. Where do I go now? D7 or where exactly? Hmm. Yeah, G6 looks like looks wrong in some in some ways. Yeah, on the other hand, what is the bishop doing on D7 in the first place? Probably not that much. Yeah, the thing is F4, yeah. F4 is coming. Um, okay, so I think I'll go back so that I'm ready for F4. Okay, now he's playing out moves like there's no tomorrow. Move, 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 move. <laughs> okay. Yeah, maybe you just had something to do, yeah? Answering the doorbell or something like that. Okay, anyway. I'm going with f5 now, I guess. Um, I need to free up the position. Oh, it's going f3. Aha. Uh -huh. Okay, I'm happy to take, of course. My Check. dream scenario here is um, a minor piece ending where I'm just winning the e4 pawn. Mm, yeah, okay, rook f8 or not? Knight f6 is also already a possibility. Or going for this, maybe going for this, just <clears throat> try to attack the pawn directly. And uh, knight f6 next. How is he keeping the pawn? Where to go? Mm -hmm. What is the most precise here? This one, I guess. And now, what now? I cannot win it, huh? but okay, I can go here. To go, I guess to g5, maybe to have knight h5 and possibly knight f4. The good thing is that I always have rook f7 now, yeah, to cover the b7 pawn. I mean, um, I actually wonder if I have to cover that. Knight h5 looks already pretty strong. Okay, let's go lazy chess. Yeah, I mean, it's just playing move after move after move. What is this now? 
it's going back to b1 then or i don't know <clears throat> looks pretty awful also threaten knight h5 here Resigns. Hmm. I'm not quite sure why actually, but uh, I'm happy to take the point. Uh, I mean, okay, I'm clearly better, but uh, I thought um, it was a bit, bit, bit early. Yeah, okay, that is hanging, that uh, bishop on uh, on d3. Okay, let's go back a little bit. Um, yeah, that line here with 92, 94 is um, is playable. It's not very uh, very common, but it's a it's a playable option here. Yeah. It took. Um, there's also this move. It's quite quite funny. It looks um, like White wins a pawn after this. Uh, even that is not entirely clear. But I can go here, and then actually two pieces are hanging. Something like this is, in fact, a line that White can play three pawns for the piece. It's probably not great, but uh, but an option. Check. Okay, he took. Play d4. Yeah, debatable. I went to g6 to have the d7 square for the knight with this idea because I expected him to play something like f4 or let's say it's something that you have to take into account. Now I can take bishop takes and go knight to d7. This is why I went with bishop g6 so that d7 is a free square for the knight so that now knight will come to e5 and here black has a pretty good position I think. Okay, he didn't do f4, which is of course justified. Yeah, that I'm, I'm exactly ready for for this. Okay, push the a pawn uh, up the board. Bishop e3, f5. Mm, somehow my software won't play it. Yeah, and f3 was was played in one second and is just losing probably strategically. Um, and it's pretty clear once you take a little bit of time and make an effort here and not just play a move randomly. Um, the thing is, if he takes, which, which he has to do, of course, the position opens up. And in fact, he has got queen b1, which I didn't see. <laughs> yeah, so actually f5 was mistimed. Now that's, I mean, what he played was strategically bad, but also not taking into account that f5 was actually mistimed. They have to play this first and only then f5. Aha. Yeah, that was much better. So f3 is uh, is a it says in, in, in two ways a big mistake. It, it didn't take um, use of my premature f5, and it leads to a strategically very bad position. Check. The thing is that now this pawn is a very convenient target for my pieces, and he has nothing um, adequate in return. He has got nothing else that he can attack. My pawn structure here is completely sound and cannot be attacked in any way. For example, any minor piece endgame, if we just have knights and bishops on the board, um, I, okay, I have knight and bishop and he's got two bishops, um, I just go knight f6 and this is falling. And uh, this is the winning idea now. I can just attack the pawn and he has a hard time to cover it. Yeah, queen c2, knight f6, all that was played immediately. Yeah, and now, um, I went here, there. Knight h5 is already an interesting option. I wasn't completely sure and played the the safe the safe way. But here it's it's not easy for him to move. I mean, what is he doing? This is attacked. If he takes on b7, this was actually was uh, what was not completely clear to me. If I'm having uh, something something um, super convincing here takes takes this check 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 no, he's checking me like no tomorrow yeah i played the lazy move but it is also not bad white has some um, very little um that he can do. Okay, he went there immediately. And queen d2. Hmm. Yeah. Now there's just stuff hanging, plus this one. Yeah, he can continue with queen b1. 
and then I'm starting to take pawns. It is it's pretty bad, but uh, I don't know why you exactly had to resign there. Yeah, f5 was mistimed actually. I, I should. Uh, that's an interesting motif actually that I wasn't aware of. That. I'm sorry. That. That this is actually a double attack. Uh, that's something that, that, that's, that's an interesting motif. And I absolutely have no move to, to keep both covered. It's, it's just not just not possible. It's it's really awful. If it, the b7 pawn falls, it's pretty awful. Okay, I was lucky that he uh, was in instant move mode the whole time. Okay, thanks for watching.